how to hold on to the Lechem Mishnah when saying Hamaitzi on Shabbos and Yantif. So many people may have seen different minhagim, different customs, how people hold the Lechem Mishnah when saying Hamaitzi. But many are unaware that there are various details of Halacha and Kabbalah involved in this seemingly simple matter. And that is what we will discuss in today's lesson. What is the proper way of saying Hamaitzi on Lechem Mishnah? So number one, as is recorded in Shulchan Aruch, the Alter Rebbe 167, Allah 7, based on the previous Paiskim, whenever one says Amaytzi on bread, even during the week, he is to place both hands on the bread, ten fingers, corresponding to the ten mitzvahs that Hashem gave corresponding to bread. We place both hands and all ten fingers on the loaves. Number two, it is an obligation to hold on to both loaves of bread when saying Hamaitzi for Lechem Mishnah. It does not suffice to hold on to one loaf and then leave the other loaf on the table. So rules the Alter Rebbe in 274 Allah 2, based on the ruling of the Machaber 274.1 and Rav Kahana in Shabbos 117b. That why one is obligated due to Lechem Mishnah to hold on to both loaves of bread, nonetheless one does not have to break open both loaves of bread, but only one of them. This is learned from the Pasuk, which states, Lok to Lechem Mishnah, that when you're gathering it, meaning when you're holding it, it should be Lechem Mishnah, you should have the two loaves, but it doesn't have to be when you're eating. We will discuss later which of the two loaves should be broken. So now we're going to get to, how do you hold on to the loaves? And this is where everything gets complex. Until now, everyone's in agreement. Two hands, ten fingers, both loaves. How do you hold the loaves? So we have, we have a different of approach between Halacha and Kabbalah. In the Shulchan Aruch and all the Pesachim, it's evident that the loaves are held one on top of the other, that there's a top loaf and a bottom loaf. And so writes the Alter Rebbe in Torah Ar B'Shalach and the Kutu Torah Ekev that according to Nigla, according to Halacha, there has to be a top loaf and a bottom loaf. You hold them one on top of the other. As we will learn in a moment, some are accustomed to then break the, the top loaf, the upper loaf, and they can then hold the two loaves one on top of the other equally to each other, meaning one does not protrude further in than the other, while others are accustomed to say, to break first the lower loaf, that's what they eat first after Hamait, and therefore some move it more towards them for this reason, as we will soon discuss. All this is following the halachic approach of, of having one on top of the other. However, according to the Kabbalah of, of the Arizal, the loaves are to be held side side by side, back to back, having the flat sides of both loaves adjacent to each other, and the braided sides on the exterior, one side facing the left and another side facing the right, thus appearing like a single loaf with two fronts. This is the wording that Arizal and Priyetz Chaim and Shara Kavanis as recorded in Kafa Chaim. 262.2 and the Lukutei Torah, Parshas Ekev, page 17, Sidrim Dach, Mishnah Chassidim, and other sources. So while according to Halacha Nigla, we hold it one on top of the other, according to Kabbalah, we hold it side by side. The back side of each one adjacent to each other, and the braided side facing outwards, one to the right, one to the left. Practically, the Chabad custom follows the latter approach of the Arizal. So writes the, the Rebbe in a letter in Igris Kodesh, and so was witnessed to be done by the Rebbe by Fabregan. So we attach the two loaves on the bottom side of each one, place them close to each other, holding on with both hands and fingers, and say Amaitzi. The Rebbe adds in the letter in Igris Kodesh 18, page 361, that on Friday night the loaves are to be exactly equal side by side, with no one loaf higher than the other, while by daytime the right loaf is to protrude slightly higher than the left. We will Mir Tzashan demonstrate this in a separate hands-on video. Now let's move on to which loaf do you cut first? Or do you need to cut at all? We already explained according to Allah, you don't have to cut both loaves, you only have to cut one of the loaves. So which one is to be cut? So here we have a variety of opinions. According to the halachic approach of holding the breads one on top of the other, some rule you should always cut the top one first, others rule you should always cut the bottom one first, or only cut the top one and only cut the bottom one, while others say that by Friday night the bottom one is cut first, while Shabbos day and Yantiv, night and day, the top one is cut first. What is the differences between all these approaches and opinions? Why is there a machlekes? regarding this matter. So the Mechaber in the Shulchan Aruch 274.1 rules like the approach, you always cut the bottom one first. And his reason is based on Kabbalah. The Bach, however, argues on this and says, there's an Iser lahavr ala mitzvahs. Whenever you have a mitzvah closer to you, you have to choose it first. Can't overpass a mitzvah to come to a second mitzvah. Now since the top one is closer to you, you have to say, Hamaitzi in the top one and cut the top one. So he holds, you always cut the top one first. 
The Ramah gives an arbitration. Friday night, do like the Mechaber and cut the bottom one. Shabbos day and Yantif, cut the top one. The Alter Rebbe brings all these approaches, concludes with the eights of the Magan Avram and the Taz, that on Friday night when you cut the bottom one first, if this is the approach you're following, you should either move it closer to yourself, so you're not Mavrin and Allah Mitzvahs, it's closer to you than the top one, or you take the top one by Birch HaSamaitzi and move it to the bottom. Practically, all the above discussion is only according to the halachic approach where you hold one bread on top of the other, as that is the position the Al-Tabah took in the Shulchan Aruch, and that's what he discussed there. Of according to the Kabbalistic approach, which is the Minak Chabad and Minak Arizal, to hold them side by side, back to back, one facing the right, the other facing the left, there's no one loaf on top of the other. So which one should you cut? The right or the left? So it's clearly written in Kisvei Arizal to cut the right loaf always. So to summarize the Seder of Birch HaSamaiti on Shabbos according to Chabad Minhag and Kisvei Arizal is as follows. Take two loaves, position them back to back with the braided side of one loaf facing the right, the braided side of another loaf facing the left, appearing like one loaf with two faces, with two braids. Hold them with both hands, ten fingers. On Friday night, make sure their height is equal. On Shabbos day, slightly elevate the right loaf over the left loaf. And both Friday night and Shabbos day, after you say Yamaitzi, you cut the right loaf. Thank you for listening to ShuhanArcharav.com. Our free services of making Torah knowledge available to the public depends on donors like you. Please help us continue our work through making even a small contribution at shuhanarcharav.com under the daily halacha dedication section or in the subscription page. Also, check out our online courses and many safarim available for purchase that will both enhance your Torah knowledge and help support our work.